Hi, Steve Ray from Berkshire Real Estate. Today I'm here with Michael Renzi Painting Company and Deb Renzi down at their Harris Street location here in Pittsfield. Deb, thanks Steve. for having us down. Yeah, thanks for coming. Well, the first thing I gotta tell you is I'm really impressed with the facility. I don't think people realize on Harris Street with a side street like that, that there's a building like this down here, but this is quite a building, huh? Yeah, yeah, big. Uh, you got bays out there and you've got equipment, all kinds of equipment. And then you've got a, a beautiful office here as I look around. Right. And I will say I really don't think that people are aware that this is down here. Right. Yeah, no, it's, uh, we do a lot of work here as well. Prep work and things like that and yeah. then take it out. Cabinets, doors, lots of things in the shop. We'll do it in the bays. Spray stuff on, on site, even uh, siding before it goes up on houses. Really? Yeah. So Michael Renzing Painting Company, take us through the history. I know it's a a company that's had a long time history here in Pittsfield and then the Berkshires, but take us through that history. Yeah, so from, from what I know, um, Mike's uh, grandfather and his brother started Renzi Brothers Painting years and years ago. So after that, I know Mike's dad, Jim Renzi, he started Pittsfield Painting Company. So those are the two kind of prior companies, so Mike was third generation. And he started this company back in about 1986, right around there. So Michael Renzi painting. Michael Renzi painting. Yeah, kind out of branched out from his dad at that time. His dad was starting to think about retirement, and Mike actually wanted to do something different and a different type of market. He was kind of going after a little bit more, maybe South County, um, some different residential homes, more maybe even second homes, and. Kind of going after some contractors that do work in again different types of areas so just kind of branching out so you moved here and yeah well we we've, we've had a shop in pittsfield um, way back in the 80s we had on wakona street okay and after that i think we moved from there to here and this we just kind of bought this building and took it over, redid it a bit, and there's a couple other businesses in this building as well. But yeah, he's been here, I can't remember exactly the year we bought this, but yeah. So, no talk about Michael Renzi painting. Can we talk about him without talking about Mike Renzi? Of course. Now, Mike, of course, unfortunately, tragically lost his life over five years ago now? Yeah, it was in January of 2015, so it's just been about five years and a month. Now, for the people that knew Mike, he was quite a guy. Um, I know he was heavily involved, not only in sports in general, um, but particularly hockey. Yeah, he coached actually like three generations in hockey at the Boys and Girls Club, probably for 19 years or more as a coach. And, you know, because our three boys have different age groups, but so he was always he was involved for a long time there. So Mike Renzi had a, a vision for his business and he's really took it to the next level when he decided to go out on his own here. And a couple things stand out for me. The type of work they did and the way he treated his employees. And maybe if you could spend a couple minutes talking about that. Yeah, so when you know he wanted to branch out and kind of start something new, which he did and he kind of perfected over the years with uh, contractors more in kind of higher ed and residential homes, and also some um, companies like uh, Tanglewood, for example. You know, I've been working there for a number of years, but also, you know, museums and just kind of more of the commercial areas that were more specialized. You know, back in the day when his, his dad was involved, they did a lot for like New England Telephone, General Electric, but over the time, and that actually as Pittsfield has evolved too, it's, it's changed very much as we all know. Sure. So, um, Mike kind of saw a different market and kind of went after it, and that's where he's been. And I think that the most um, resourceful thing that we have, and I know the thing that I adore the most and appreciate every day, is the guys that work here. Right. So there's a core group of about 11 of them, and anywhere from 32 years to, you know, down to 15, but nobody's really a short-termer here. And when Mike did pass, that was, you know, there was a lot of fear. I had a lot of fear on that. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You know, I had worked at the health system for 25 plus years and you know, as a nurse, but I um, always was involved in this company in the, in the background. Of course, 
luckily Mike and I talked so well, but I always knew what was going on mm -hmm. in regards to the employees as well as the jobs. Sure. So, and did payroll, but what I'm, you know, as soon as that happened, and I can remember even that day, you know, that horrific day, but, you know, my first thought was, you know, we've got this other family here, and clearly we did, and we all came together, and um, they kept going, even the jobs that were current when he passed. I mean, so from that day forward, we just, you know, continually moved on, and we still are, and they're just, I can't tell you how much they all mean to me. Well, that certainly speaks volumes about Mike's philosophy, and you continue in the philosophy and how you treat your employees. But getting back to the technical side of painting, um, restoration work is so meticulous. This is where a Michael Renzi painting company really separates themselves from the, the, the guys in their pickup trucks. Uh, what goes into, I know you've done a lot of work at Hancock Shaker Village, for example. What goes into working on a couple hundred year old house? It's not just a matter of slapping old paint on it, is it? No. Well, you know, the historic buildings like the ones at Hancock Shaker Village, they want everything restored back to its natural state. So in order to do that, you have to be meticulous about it and just, you know, right down to the hardware and the screws. I mean, right down to the little screws that come. They don't want new things put in. So you have to take things apart, label them, make sure that you're putting things back together. You know, just like I can think of the shutters, you know, those old shutters sure. that the shakers made back in the day and they're beautiful, but the hardware needs to come off and then the paint going back on them. You want the paint to be looking just like it was, even right down to the color and then trying to find the formula of what they used back then. So it takes some time because you really have to uh, continually work at it. That type of work is much more technical and sophisticated than the average person right. could do, and that's really one of the <coughs> specialties you guys have here. Yes, yep. Uh, another thing, when I, as I walk into the shop and I drive around all the time, you guys got some pretty heavy-duty equipment, yeah. huh? Yeah, so, you know, again, back in the day, they, you know, we saw a lot more staging, and they're still out there. But yeah, staging and ladders. I mean, staging, I, ladders, and, you know, of course, we still use, use ladders, but there's a lot of regulations. Things have changed, and I want to always make sure that um, the guys are safe, but also, as our crew is kind of getting older, you know, everybody, we're all getting older, but as they keep getting older, I need to kind of make things as efficient and as easy for them as I can, so we have definitely gotten into using lifts more and it, just, again, for safety reasons but also for the ease of use but it actually becomes more efficient so it's definitely worth, worth it so certainly you've credited your staff for being a big reason why oh, yeah. you're successful what are some of the challenges you face though doing in business every day particularly in an area like ours um, where there isn't a lot of success stories how, how does that work for you well I mean I think that the struggles that we have is, is finding even new help to kind of maintain and get up there. I, I would love some young guys, you know, mm -hmm. because it is certainly, and as a few of my guys have proven, it you can make a living doing this, you can mm -hmm. make a career. And, you know, we have some real success stories here in regards to that and guys that started young and now have families and houses. Own homes and, and everything, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's a career. It, it is absolutely a career and, and I would just love to see younger guys come and make a career out of it or women, whichever, you know, sure. anybody. But that that's probably the biggest struggle that I see. And, you know, we're very fortunate to not have to advertise a ton because we have um, customers that just are loyal as well. That just, you know, sure. painting is one of those things that after so many years, especially exteriors, you have to have your house redone. So we're lucky we have, you know. Repeat customers. Repeat or we do a side a year for certain people. We sure. have, you know, there's, yeah. There's a long list, so definitely spring, summer, and fall are our busiest time. And winter, we you know try to find uh, more interior work. Sure. I try to keep as many guys keep going as staff. possible. Oh, sure. In the summer, we go up to about you know 24, 25 guys. So. That's great. So um, you recently retired from Berkshire Health Systems to focus on this full time. Yeah, I wouldn't use the word retire as much as I left there. <laughs> oh yeah, you you didn't retire. You retired from there, right? Yeah, yeah but, but um, it's hardly retirement. Yeah. No, I spent uh, 29 years with Virtual Health Systems, and you know, just recently, I'll probably be going back into some kind of nursing because I even just uh, got a Connecticut license. So just want to do some consulting, or definitely looking for what's next for me there. But I don't want to give up my my license, and I keep that up for sure with education. So. Well, what do you do around 
Pittsfield and the Berkshires when you're fun time. I'm oh, sure you, you're time. not working all the time. Yeah, though. no, no. Um, so I picked up skiing back a few years ago, which I hadn't done since I was a kid because, you know, with my boys running around with hockey, but skiing has kind of been the winter thing. And then summer and summer here is busy, but also we travel to Connecticut now a lot and just traveling more. Yeah, because now that my children are older too, they're not here all the time. So we try and make time and figure out what we're going to do and where we're going to go and yeah, travel. Anything around here you still enjoy? Oh, I enjoy a lot. I mean, Berkshires are the most beautiful place to be. It's hard to beat, especially in the in our seasons. Do you still get out on the boat at all at Richmond Pond? No, or? no, no. Um, just kayaking. Kayaking. Kayaking in the in the summer, but um, just. I just enjoy being outside in the Berkshires in the nice weather. So circling back to Michael Renzi Painting Company, um, we're going to put a link on the website for people to get to you. Um, if they need to call, they can call sure. you. No, yeah, or there's you know the main number here. Okay, um, which is? It's 413-443-4253. Yep, that, I mean, obviously to, in today's world, most people use technology, so that's fine. I mean, there's a website, there's the link, and our phone numbers are right, on and it. Right, that, and that'll be uh, yep. linked below. Yeah. Well, Deb, I really thank you for having us down, uh, letting people know that Michael Renzi painting is alive and well, yep. and flourishing as Mike would have wanted it. Yep. And he's got you to thank for that, as well as... Uh, loyal staff and you've got some staff members like Chris yeah. that have been here for a long time, a long time. Yeah. and uh, it shows every day in the quality of the work you do and the pride you guys put into this business is evident not only in the work you do but you even got the nicest looking vehicles I think that are out there too so uh, I'll keep them clean <laughs> <laughs> you sure do yeah. thanks for having us and uh, I appreciate it and again Michael Renzi painting company Thank you. They're not just your average painters. Check the link below and make sure you give them a call for an estimate. Thank Thanks, you. Deb. Thank you. Thank you.